I'm at that other lake. Um, it's got good crappie and musky in it. This one looks a little more promising. Oh yeah. Now, what do we see for fish? I'm not seeing any. But I hear them way out there in the pads. Right away, I got to catch some Eurasian milfoil. Oh, yeah, I see some little gills, potato chips. Oh. Closer to the pads once. Got some gills right by my feet here. Right by the dock. Ooh, good one. See him? I think I'll back off the dock a little bit. Oh yeah. Yep, they're all here. They seem kind of neutral. Not the little guys. The little guys are poking at it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, give me a big fish, man. I don't need aquarium fish. There we go. All right, we're going to back off the dock even more because there's a little bit of shade right here. I can hear, I can hear fish in the pads, but they're way out in the pad bed. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. Well, I shouldn't say a good one. It was a decent one. I can't get hooks into these guys. Oh, he came right out of the water for it. Oh, man, they're crushing it like piranhas. Back off even more. See that? This is why I love topwater so much. You get these aggressive fish. It's so much fun on the surface. As if I could just get a hook into them. They're rolling at it. Oh, do I got a fish on? Yeah, I do. Oh, here I go to make another. I think this is smaller than the last one. He's pretty, though. I think he's a sunfish. Sure he is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a potato chip. That's actually a corn chip. It's not even a potato chip. That's a corn chip. All right. There's a few bigger ones around here. Let's see if I can get into one. Little guys. Well, I don't want to waste too much time because uh, I got to go rebuild a refrigerator.
Trust me, I'd rather do this than rebuild a refrigerator. But these little guys are just they're just there, I got him. <laughs> he committed. Oh, yep, little sunfish. Pumpkin seeds. No, that's a bluegill. He's pretty though. I actually think the uh, the bigger fish have migrated out to deeper water on a lot of these lakes, and you're gonna find them holding off the uh, off the weed lines now, the deeper weed lines, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to go subsurface for them with a bobber and a small jig and a plastic tail or something along those lines. I can see some bigger fish down low but they just are, uh, they're just staying there. They're not, uh, they're not coming up after this. Yeah, I can see the white tails and I get all snarled up. So maybe that's my cue to, uh, to roll it up for the day. Jeez, these little guys are just voracious. sneak out here on the dock oh yeah there's bigger fish that are out deeper Let's see if I can reach out the wind has kind of died down big guys seem to have lockjaw I can hear the big ones in the pads, though. Got him. Another corn chip. Yeah, it's nothing but a corn chip festival. <laughs> but string's getting stretched. Tug is the drug. Like this washout area where the boats have done their power power launches the guys they come in to load their boats on the trailer and they give they, they pour the coals to it to, to drive up on the trailer and makes a big washout at the boat landing and all these fish are sitting in this little aquarium here they're really not hanging out over the weeds there. They're hanging out in the open water here. But we gotta go. So while I'm setting up the rod, they're still coming up and poking at it. I'm taking the rod down here. 
So this time, I think we're gonna wrap her up. But yeah, um, doing this allows me to uh, get an idea of the size of the fish that are in a lake. If I come up to a boat landing like I did on that little lake that was hidden in the hidden in the woods <coughs> and I see a uh, I start catching some big some big eaters off the off the dock <coughs> it's worth it <coughs> so the one lake that I took a little scrunchy to I I just think we had an off day I don't think we uh on that particular day, it just, uh, there was a cold front. And uh, I just don't think we, that was our day. So I'm not going to give up on the lake. No, because I know what I caught. And I know there's a potential for better. So that's what you do. But moments like this just allow me to do some 15-minute scouting to determine you know get a general idea of what's going on and whether it's worth a return visit